We started a video series called How to Draw Awesome Animals with Peppermint Narwhal. And in this video series, we teach you how to draw animals in a fun and simple way while sharing facts about the species. And that's what we're going to be doing live here today. So since we're at Ocean Connection, we're going to take a look at an animal today that you can find it. You've probably seen on many Facebook Live events for Ocean Connection. And that's the harbor seal. Now the harbor seal is a pinniped and that's pinnipeds are a clade. It's a type of classification in the uh, animal kingdom. And basically you can think of it as a branch of the tree of life. And on this branch, you have three families. The harbor seal would belong to a family called the true seals or eared seals. And they're one of 18 species. Now there's also two more families on that tree. And one of those families you can also see here at Ocean Connection. And that would be the uh, eared seals. And that's basically sea lions and fur seals. And of course, here at Ocean Connection, you would have the California sea lion. Now, the third family that you find on that branch is the walrus, and it's kind of all by itself. So the harbor seal is pretty cool. We're very, it's a cute animal, super fun to draw, and you're going to find it's actually pretty easy as well. So we'll go ahead and get started here, and we're going to go ahead and just use a pencil and paper as kind of my drawing method of choice. You're free to use whatever you like. I'm going to start off with just drawing a little heart on my page, small, and there we go. We've all drawn a heart, so... That's a good place to start. It's a simple, familiar drawing piece. Now, when we draw uh, in this series, I like to teach you how to draw using kind of something you're familiar with, and that's dot to dots. So I'm just going to write above that heart. I'm going to put just a straight line. And much like in a dot to dot, you use two dots to connect a straight line. So there we go. Just sort of connect those together right above our heart. That looks pretty good. Now, below the heart, I'm going to draw just a very small little line. You don't even need dots because it's so small. And then it's basically I'm going to make like an upside down Y below that. So just two little branches there. And you can see the up down, upside down Y right off of that heart. That looks pretty good. So now that I've got this, did these up branches of the upside down Y, I'm going to start off with this far one here. Put a dot here. I'm going to use this dot here. And I'm going to put a dot out here. And that's going to make what we call a, a curve line here. So I use three dots for a curve line. Um, it's a little different than a straight line, a little more complex. So the middle dot becomes kind of the arch of the curve. So you can go in either direction you want. The, either way, once we make our dots, you can pick whichever side. You can go over them if you like to darken them, start off light at first. But there we go, I've got that sort of back side of the, we're basically drawing the snout here. So I'm gonna come up to this, uh, or the muzzle as it's probably better called. So I'm gonna come take this digit here, uh, this branch, put a dot there. I'm gonna put another dot over here and another dot over here. And again, we got another curved line. So we're basically connecting these up like that. And that looks pretty good. Now we're going to just put a simple curve line right there and that's gonna be a dimple smile. So you can really see the smile starting to come together. That looks pretty good. Now we're gonna put some eyes on this uh, seal and that's gonna right away start to bring the face out. So one of the, we'll start with the first eye. We're gonna draw an oval here. Now it's slightly obstructed by this muzzle. So we'll go ahead and just sort of draw that oval if you wanna watch me. I'm not necessarily drawing the bottom part because it would be covered up by that. And then I'm gonna draw the other eye over here when that's in full view. So I'll go ahead and draw the second oval just like that. That looks great. Now I'm gonna color these in, but I'm gonna leave a little bit of the white of the paper and that's gonna give me a nice highlight on the eye. And that highlight helps give a little extra character to it. You don't need it, but if you wanna add it, it's a fun detail. And it's one I like to use. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. I'm going to start now at the top of the muzzle here, or right above the nose, and I'm gonna put a dot there. I'm gonna put a dot here, just above the eye, and a dot here. And again, we've got a curved line. So we'll just bring those together. Go back and forth, darken them up as you get it. All right, that looks great. Now we're gonna come back to the bottom of the, we're gonna put the mouth on here. So we're gonna come to this dimple smile, put a dot, we'll put a dot maybe right about there and another dot there. So again, three dots, can't really see the dot, but we're starting right in the center there. So there we go, just bringing that down. And then we got a nice sort of happy open mouth. And we like uh, happy animals here on Peppermint and Narwhal, so we got this nice happy smile. We're just gonna connect it uh, using a curve line. It's a little tight, so we won't use three dots. And there we go, I've got the bottom of the mouth open there. Now I'm gonna put in a tongue in there, and that's almost like drawing a bird in the distance on a piece of paper if you were drawing a sketch, or a letter M, just sort of like uh, two little bumps there. And then I'm just gonna color in everything but that tongue. And there we go, we've got the nice sort of mouth open and the tongue not colored in so it stands out. All right, now we're gonna put the bottom jaw on and we're kind of mirroring this shape here. So we're just gonna get a little bit of a curved line here, 
and I'm wrapping that underneath the, the mouth there. So that's pretty good. We'll leave that there for now. We'll come back to that in a little bit. We'll come back to the back of the head here and put a dot here that we already have. We'll put a dot here and we'll put a dot here and we'll just kind of start to round out the back of the head there. There we go, that looks pretty good. Okay, that looks good. Now we're gonna start to do the bottom of the back and we'll use this dot here, this dot, create a dot here and a dot here and then we'll just kind of connect these in a nice curved line again. And now we're gonna take that back up the other direction. We're gonna keep this dot and a dot here and a dot here and then bring that kind of back up just like that now at this point of the drawing uh, we're going to just make a little we're going to round that up just put a little bit of a curve at the end of it again it's really small so we're just kind of round the edge of that end line there that looks pretty good we'll come back to that area now we're going to go back to the front of our seal and we'll put a dot right here just right below that that jaw and we'll put a dot maybe right about there and maybe a dot right about there. So that looks pretty good, three dots, curved line, and we've got the nice front of our seal. All right, that's gonna bring us to one of the, uh, another key part of the anatomy, and that's the four flipper. So we'll go ahead and to draw that, we're gonna leave this dot here, as that's actually gonna become the middle dot. We'll put a dot up here, and we'll put a dot up here, and then we're just gonna make a nice curving line here. And that's gonna be the, the start of our four flipper. Now from this dot here, I'm just gonna make three more, two three more dots using the original dot that I had and again make that curve line and that way they just kind of extend that out. All right now we're going to put on some the flippers have digits they're actually very similar to your hand they're going to have like five sort of uh, floppy fingers essentially is what you might uh, sort of see they're not anywhere near as long as say a seal a sea lion or a fur seal so they actually see true seals have kind of smaller flip or flippers so to capture that we're just going to sort of draw these almost like sideways or falling J's. Uh, so basically we'll kind of put these five little digits on there. If you only have four, that's fine. Again, you see a lot of, you know, cartoon drawings where, you know, they kind of simplify the, the digits uh, and that's just fine. So there we go. I got this nice little floppy four flipper and it looks like your hand, they actually have nails on the, these uh, as well. So I'll put a few nails there. That looks pretty good. And then uh, I'll go ahead and put the bottom of this dot here, dot here, and a dot here, and we'll kind of continue that along. And we're working our way towards the back here. So I'm gonna put a dot up here, dot up here, use this dot, and then bring that together nicely, kind of round that off. So now we're working towards the back of the animal here. They actually have a nice uh, little stumpy tail, so I'm just gonna kind of indicate that by almost like a, a, a another J shape there, just a little bit of a, a tip there. And then I'm going to put on the one of the four one of the rear flippers here. I'll put a dot here, a dot here, and a dot here. And seals oftentimes will kind of rest in this position that we're drawing. So you'll sometimes see them kind of arched up like this. Um, so there we go. We've got this nice curving sort of shape. And then again, we've got those sort of floppy digits uh, that we'll kind of put on here. So you can see me draw them. You know, get. Uh, and there we go, we've got our, our floppy digits there. Now we'll basically mirror this on the other side going the other direction. So we'll put a dot there, a dot there, and a dot there. And we'll go ahead and connect these. There we go, that looks good. And then again, those sort of floppy digits this time the other direction. You may not see them all, but there we go. That looks great. So there we go, we've got the rear flippers and the front flippers, and that's how it's gonna steer itself in the water. Uh, it's gonna propel itself mostly using the, the back muscles and the rear flippers, and then kind of use the four flippers for steering. Now on land, they're not the most, uh, you know, uh, agile and, and speedy on land. In fact, they really can't use these two appendages too well. They actually almost use their stomach muscles uh, sort of like an inchworm. They bounce around, they crunch their stomach muscles and then lunge forward. Sometimes they'll use a little four flipper for a little bit of movement, but it's not very strong and powerful So uh, on land. So basically these stomach muscles come in really handy. It looks like a water balloon that you drop on the ground when they move. They're kind of fun in that way. I'm gonna put another uh, four flipper up here. This one's waving. We see a lot of fun behaviors here at Ocean Connection. So we'll get a nice wave going here. So there's my curve line. And then remember those floppy small stumpy digits there 
and I'll just bring that back. So that looks pretty good. Uh, by the way, these are sometimes called earless seals or, you know, the true seals are called earless seals. They actually have an ear. It's right about here. It's just a dot. Now they're called earless because they don't have an external ear uh, like a sea lion would have. If you look at a sea lion here at Ocean Connection, you would actually see a very visible ear. Whereas on the seal, it's harder to see. It's just this little hole like the ear canal. So the sound goes into it. So ears are great for hearing. We have an external ear. It helps us channel sound. Uh, but in the water, they're not so aerodynamic, so the seals actually shed them. And even the, the sea lion that has an ear, it's pretty small compared to, say, an elephant or even our own ear. So these, uh, they do have hearing, they can hear, and they do have ears, but they're sometimes called earless seals because of that lack of an external ear. Now, another important adaptation that they have is their whiskers, and I'm going to draw those pretty fast. There's really no other way to draw whiskers other than kind of quick. Uh, you've probably drawn a cat before, so they're really not that different. These are actually called vibrissa, and they help. The reason they're called that is because they sense vibrations in the water. So a seal will use that to uh, find its way in the dark and murkier water. Not all water is as crystal clear as maybe the beach you go to. Uh, so this also can help them find food. In fact, our friends at Ocean Connection recently told me a fact that I didn't even know, and that the harbor seals apparently can uh, sense a fish fish's movements up to 15 minutes away so it can be in an area of the water and sort of know that a fish was recently there up to 15 minutes ago so that's pretty amazing all right so here we go we've got our sea lion our seal done here we'll go ahead and put some uh sort of little ovals all around them their markings are modeled so you see this sort of modeling spotted uh sort of markings all over the seal so i'm going to go ahead and put some of those in some are bigger some are smaller than others you can't really get this wrong, just add a few to, you know, add a little more extra character and detail to your seal. So that looks great. Uh, our drawing is pretty much done. We're really uh, happy to uh, have shared this with you here today at Ocean Connection Live. Uh, thank you again to their team for having us today. We Everybody's drawing is going to be a little bit unique. Uh, we all draw differently, and that's kind of the best of a drawing. So we look forward to seeing yours as well. If you're interested in learning how to draw a sea lion, join us at Peppermint Narwhal's YouTube page for our uh, series of how to draw awesome animals. And we'll be spotlighting the sea lion on May 30th for uh, World Sea Lion Day. So we're very excited about that.